Daisy and Viola, who were born conjoined, are living in Naples, one of Florida's neighboring communities, they can feel each other's emotions because they share a hip, and their personalities have merged as a result of their physical connection, they can feel each other's emotions because they are physically connected, Daisy, for example, feels sick in the stomach whenever Viola eats something, the twins, who will turn 18 in a few months, are the family's primary breadwinners, in addition to, performing at other types of events, they sing for money at first communions, weddings, and christenings, their parents have planned and coordinated the events and outings in which they will participate, Pepe, their depressed poet father, writes songs for his children, which he later sells to support the rest of the family financially, the twins have a moral obligation to follow their father's instructions in all circumstances, regardless of the specifics, due to technical difficulties, the girls are unable to perform the songs they have been working on at this time, they are unable to access their own financial resources and do not have access to their own mobile devices, Peppa assists the girls in saving some of their earnings for the future by depositing some of it in the bank, this is one of the few good things about their relationship with Peppa, this is only for their personal consumption. The film begins with a scene on a beach where there are bonfires and people are returning to their homes, Daisy, and Viola's alcoholic mother, known as, Titty, sneaks into the house while both of her daughters are sound asleep in order to wake them up and give them coffee, they eventually get ready, board a van with the word, indivisible spray painted on the side, and drive away to a private party. The following event they attend is a young girl's first communion, to which they were invited, this is the location of their next gathering, Pepe is currently devising a strategy, Titty will need to rely on her charisma to persuade Father Salvatore's opinion and secure permission for the concert to take place in the church on Sunday. Twins are thought to bring good fortune and healing to those who come into contact with them, so the girls will have an impact on people of all ages. People who go there see miracles in their lives. A wealthy man named Marco Ferreri meets the twins by chance and apparently develops feelings for them, particularly Daisy. He attempts to recruit them by handing them his business card and attempting to persuade them to work for him, he claims that he would cut off his own head for a woman like Daisy they will soon perform one of their hits, Indivisible, while everyone is in communion. Daisy is seen later that day, in the evening, as they stroll along the beach, memorizing Marco's cell phone number, when Viola inquires about it, she responds that it may be useful, despite being identical twins, the sisters are very different people, Daisy enjoys alcohol and is more of a dreamer and rebellious spirit, whereas Viola prefers sweets and is more obedient in general, Viola has a more submissive personality, following the Sunday concert, Father Salvatore decides to build a new church dedicated to the twins, Dr. Fasano, a Swiss employee, walks in on the middle of their conversation. After inspecting the twins, he wonders aloud why they weren't delivered separately, he claims that the daughter's parents forced them to live as disabled people against their will, he then hands them his business card and offers to examine them for free, Viola ignores him completely. But Daisy is intrigued by what he sent, later, she requests that Pepe show her the doctor's card, but Pepe declines, but she insists on making a doctor's appointment for the next day, given what they already know, it is impossible for them to be separated, according to Viola, Daisy, on the other hand, has reservations, and is hesitant to accept it without question because they have never heard a real doctor say that before, Daisy longs to live a life more in line with her peers her age. Meanwhile, Pepe insists on not defying her and refusing to hand over the card later, Daisy will not perform at the event where the marriage proposal will take place until their father gives him the doctor's card, Titty takes the card from him to show her compassion for the daughters, and then she hands it to Daisy, they make their way to a medical facility the following day to be examined. Viola is unable to overcome her reluctance to proceed, and she believes Daisy would prefer to spend time apart from her because of Marco Ferreri, after conducting an examination, the physician concludes that the twins' bodies are linked by a substantial capillary network, this explains why the twins have the same sensations in the same way. He believes that surgical separation is possible because they do not share any organs that are essential for survival, they will have to travel all the way to Geneva to have the procedure performed, furthermore, he informs them that he will only charge them $20,000 for the flight to Switzerland, anesthesia, and the operating room, this is the total amount they will be required to pay, Daisy breathes a sigh of relief as the doctor confirms what she suspected all along. Pepe and Daisy's argument earlier that day escalates into a heated debate later that evening, she expects him to grant permission for the procedure and provide the necessary funding, despite her father's claims to the contrary, the daughter recognizes that despite their limited financial resources, they had a reasonably successful year, Daisy becomes even more enraged when he calls her out and points out her lack of gratitude, she claims that he has turned them into freaks fit for a circus end requests a portion of the proceeds as compensation for her claims, Pepe claims that there is no money, and Pepe's wife accuses him of being responsible for the situation by claiming that he gambled away all of the money. 
Titty also believes that Pepe purposefully misled their daughters about the family's financial situation in order to relieve their father's anxiety about being abandoned. Pepe has a special place in his heart for each of his daughters. Pepe, on the other hand, has lost all of his money due to gambling and is now bankrupt. He accuses her of giving birth to the conjoined twins as a result of his rage, according to him. The condition was caused by her drinking while pregnant with their child. She was completely taken aback when she heard this from her husband. Following that, she discovers that he had, in fact, blown through all of the money while gambling. Pepe claims that he is entitled to do whatever he wants with the money because he wrote the songs and is thus qualified to do whatever he wants with the money. Viola then has a conversation with Daisy about how she truly feels about Marco. She says this openly and honestly, stating that she wants to live her life without interference from Viola in any way, shape, or form. Viola, on the other hand, believes that because they were born in this manner, they should accept the circumstances in which they find themselves. When Titty goes to wake up her daughters the next morning, she discovers that their bed is empty when she enters their room, the identical twins are now on their way to fend for themselves financially after successfully evacuating the building using only a scooter and a cell phone as their only mode of transportation during this ordeal, they have contacted Father Salvatore to make the necessary arrangements for their upcoming visit. Daisy expresses her desire to visit Los Angeles while they are still on the road and making progress toward their destination. Despite this, it appears that no one in the house is particularly concerned about what is going on, Pepe finds himself inadvertently involved in yet another financial conflict, after accusing his wife of having extramarital affairs, the man and his partner set out to find their children so that the man could clear his name, following that. Father Salvatore informs them that he is unable to provide them with financial assistance to pay for the procedure, and he attempts to persuade them to continue living their current lifestyle. In addition, in an attempt to scare them, he warns them that their lives will become more difficult as a result of the event, he then dismisses them by stating that he is too busy to continue the conversation with them, in fact, he is an opportunist who intends to solicit donations by using the twins as a prop to make his point, Daisy texts Marco Ferrari after Salvatore rejects her request for assistance, Viola is unable to accept the possibility that she and her sister will be physically Separated because of their profound emotional connections, she insists on acting on her own behalf and suggests that they return to where they were originally staying. Daisy tries to reassure her that everything will work out in the end for their benefit, but she is hesitant to believe her, Daisy comes dangerously close to physically assaulting Viola during their argument, which makes Viola feel threatened, before picking up a pointed object from the ground, she warns that she will take matters into her own hands. Finally, Viola admits that she is concerned that if they part ways, Daisy will lose interest in her, they reach an agreement after some time has passed, and they soon resume their walk, they have an emotional reunion. Daisy receives a text message from Marco, he dispatches a man to find them, they are then transferred by boat to a ship, while this is going on, Pepe and Titi are still looking for the girls, the boatman refused to take Pepe to Tortuga because he was too tired, even though Pepe offered to pay him 100 euros, Titi decides to end her marriage because she can no longer tolerate her husband's behavior. She claims that because the girls are adults, they have the legal right to behave however they want, when the sisters arrived at Marco's ship, she left him to deal with the situation on his own and went to meet him, he greets them with a big smile on his face, after that, he offers them drinks, which Viola politely declines but Daisy gladly accepts without hesitation, Daisy only likes the man reluctantly, so when Viola asks her to discuss the money, Daisy refuses, Daisy is told by Viola to talk, about money, when Daisy informs him that they will sign with him, he agrees to their demand for a down payment, after they danced, the man gave each twin $20,000 in cash. When he's had enough to drink, he makes out with Daisy, despite her efforts to ignore them, Viola becomes uneasy and requests peach tea, Marco is irritated by her persistence, but he goes to get the tea anyway, when they are alone, she tries to ground Daisy, they can't let him take advantage of them financially, she says, the girls reach an agreement and leave with the money. Viola convinces Daisy to end her life by pushing her head first into the water, arguing that living a dignified life is preferable to being used by a jerk, despite her anxiety, she is upbeat, as they begin to drown, the girls swim toward the city lights, money is dispersed in water, Pepe and Father Salvatore find the girls unconscious and carry them to the van, Pepe informed them that they would be unable to attend the dedication ceremony for the church, the twins' father insisted that they were sinners and that they needed to justify their actions in order to attend the wedding. Pepe prepares the girls for the occasion, despite the fact that they are awake, the girls are unaware of their surroundings, he numbs their hands with ice before cutting open their palms to draw blood, they are then led to the ceremony, the sisters sing, Father Salvador preaches, and attendees touch them for good luck and healing, while the crowd was distracted, someone was pressing on Viola's wound, and Pepe had to intervene, Daisy pulls a knife from her pocket and stabs herself in the arm. 
Viola sobs as they transport the twins to the hospital, after a while, Viola is seen lying alone on a hospital bed, indicating that the twins were separated, she wakes up and immediately begins looking for Daisy, it took some time to track down her twin, Daisy starts singing when she sees her, as the film concludes, the twins sing together, giving the impression that they are always together. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.